Hey guys, welcome back. If you're here, you know exactly kind of what you're looking at. Uh, we're going to talk about television's E3 presentation. Now, this is something I wasn't able to cover while I was at work today because <laughs> I was at work. Uh, watching YouTube videos is not something I commonly have time for while I'm in the office. So, I did take a few minutes on my lunch break to actually kind of sit down and watch the presentation. Uh, what I saw I was pretty impressed with. I think Tommy and his team put together something that was quick. It was to the point and it was very concise as to the message that they needed per to portray with the actual system. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in a little bit into the video here and just kind of let it ride as we go ahead and continue to talk. He does a very good job of showing people playing the system, having fun with the system. Yes, I know these are kind of a little bit of mock-up videos, but it basically gets the concept across of what he's trying to do with this console. He also makes a very good point of saying, hey, we're not competing with these systems. We want to be complementary to these other systems. We like these systems too. No, we're not competing with them. Yes, we're a small company. Yes, we understand that. So we're not trying to take market share away from somebody, but we want to be that system that you pick up and you play when your uncle, your grandmother, your niece, your nephew, or somebody that's not necessarily into games or not necessarily into complex games at this point comes in and wants to see what all the fuss about or wants to play something and just have a good time. He made a point of mentioning that it's very much a party console. That it's meant for people to basically be able to jump in, jump out, have a good time, stand up, get together, move around, have a good time. Um, a lot of the people that saw it after the fact were pretty impressed with it. Uh, they looked at it akin to the Wii, which I do believe that Tommy and them had that intention when they had the gyroscope and everything like that. That was one of the fun parts about the Wii that got people up, got people engaged in a system that they might not have otherwise had picked up. He also talked a little bit about his team and the legacy of Intellivision itself and how important it was for them to bring out a system that not only didn't have microtransactions, but got everybody engaged not just hardcore gamers. Not that there wasn't anything here for hardcore gamers, he did make mention of Earthworm Jim later in the presentation, and he did show a little bit of Finnick and Fox. And as you can see, there's a little bit of Ridge Force Redux that played a little bit in the background. But the focus was mostly keeping on the message. Which, while nothing new to those of us that have basically been following this for some time, it was really important to show on a floor space like E3. I think this is a good step forward. I think it's a good thing that they've done this. Um, I know I was a little curious as to what they were going to put together and how they were thinking they were going to compete on the E3 floor. And the answer was exactly what Tommy had said it was all along. We're not. We're just going to show the console and we're going to get our name out there. And we're going to show people that we're another alternative or another thing that you can include on top of your other systems to make it so more people can be entertained and have a good time and just be around each other. I think the thing that resonated the most with people on there, because a lot of the panel that came in after this, really had good things to say about the focus on couch co-op, the focus on simplicity, the focus on the accessibility of the games. They were all very curious and very interested in the controller. They didn't seem to have anything negative to say about the controller. They seemed to be pretty excited to get their hands on it. They even went as far as to say that the controller was pretty much going to be a selling point of the console. And I agree. That's something that me and many others that have been interested in the console for some time have pretty much been saying from the very beginning. This console will make or break itself based off the controller. And from what we're seeing today and from what we're seeing people's reaction of the look of the controller, it looks like it's going to do pretty well for itself within the, within the scope of what it's aiming for. And nobody's saying they're going to come out and they're going to like sell better than Nintendo or they're going to sell better than Sony or Microsoft. That's not what they're aiming for right now. They want to be able to get a product that's fun for families out in the hands of families and grow from there like any smart starting company will. So I'd like to take this moment to congratulate Tommy Taylor and his crew for doing a bang up job on coming out with a tight, concise message that explained to the rest of the world well, most of us have known all along that this is an interesting, fun family group activity that tons of people can sit down and enjoy and should at least give it a shot and see if it's for them. So congratulations once again, Tommy and your crew. 
fantastic E3 showing. I couldn't be happier with the message you guys conveyed. The only thing I could say is I would have liked to have seen more new content, but that's me being from the inside, and that's not really what this presentation was about. So, with that in mind, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Tommy and your crew, for all the hard work you guys put into this and continue to put into the system. And I will see you guys next time.